Welcome to the Gorilla's 15 minute Amazon training series. Grab a pen and paper so you can take some notes. I think you're going to hear some great information in the next 15 minutes and you'll want to keep it for later. While you're getting your pen and paper, I want to share with you a pretty cool opportunity. I'm involved in a group of new Amazon sellers that just started their business or have launched their first or second product. We've been meeting weekly online for over a year. We share knowledge, support, and resources with each other, like great inspection companies, trusted suppliers, photographers, and great freight forwarders. We share product picking strategies, marketing plans, products that can be launched without a ton of reviews. We're adding a small number of people that are action takers and are serious about launching products right away. More than 100 of us have launched products already. Imagine being able to ask questions and get answers to the information you need to be a successful Amazon business owner while you're navigating the seller's jungle. You don't need to have any real experience, just a sincere desire to participate and launch a product. Click the link below and let's get to know each other and see if you're a good fit for the group. I'll send you an invite to come to a couple of meetings. Let's get started. I hope you find something in the next 15 minutes that'll help you become a successful seller. In this 15 minute bootcamp series, Amasuite part two, we're gonna to talk to the developer, Chris Guthrie, about Amasuite's product inspector software that dives deep into specific niches to find great product opportunities. If you'd like to receive a special $100 discount and 30 minutes of personal training on how to use Amasuite software, click the link or visit our website at 123amazon.net. I hope you enjoyed this Gorilla's 15 minute bootcamp about Amasuite. And once again, if you'd like that $100 discount and 30 minutes of personal training on how to use Amasuite software, click the link. In the next 15 minute Amazon bootcamp, Amosuite Part 3, Chris explains how to get reviews for your products and he will show you the keyword finder software. Visit the website at 123amazon.net to download our free course on how to find a product. Yeah, sure. I mean, like the biggest thing is, you know, I just, what I'll do is just, okay, let's say I've decided on a barbecue or a grill brush as what I want to sell, then I'll just do some further analysis because the top 100 analyzer will get a lot of products within those subcategories. Um, but then there's still going to be other products that maybe aren't selling within those subcategories or they're in a more competitive subcategory. So they're not in one of those searches, uh, maybe because they're not as, as popular. So maybe they're the 101st product within the most popular subcategory in patio lawn and garden. And anyway, so all this for people listening to this video it might be all this different subcategory and category talk is getting me confusing. All I really need to think about is that there's a primary category, in this case, it'd be patio lawn and garden. And then there's just a bunch of different subcategories that Amazon uses to make it easier for people to, to find things. Uh, and then in those subcategories, there's products that are selling well, and that's how they rank them. But uh, so this is what I like to do as the next step is I, I like to say, okay, I'm interested in selling the barbecue grill brush. So let me put that into this area. I'll exact match. I'll select the category patio lawn and garden. And then I will I'll extract. And this is going to go out and pull in all of the barbecue grill brushes that are using barbecue grill brush in their title. Exactly right. So in this case, there's 221 items. And it's going through and pulling them all out. All right, so one more time. and make sure I got it. So it's only because what else could that be called? I mean, could that be spelled out? Barbecue grill, but no one would do that. I'm trying to think what other... Um, Okay, so silicone gloves, right? They're mm -hmm. listed as barbecue gloves and silicone gloves. So the so, thing, go ahead. yeah, I, I know where you're going with the question, and, and you know, it's you know, what what about doing both, right? So, or, or whether or not, right? So what you can do is you can just search for one phrase, and then when you're done, just search for the phrase again, and just search search again. And it, it will just fall underneath here, then. Yeah, and it, those results will be added to the end of this of these results here at the bottom. Okay. And okay. so you can do that and in, in many cases too, every single time, every single case for the most part, there's always one kind of dominant primary yeah. keyword that will describe what's being sold. It, you know, it's rare that there's not one. And if there isn't, you know, that just means you're going to do a few more searches. Well, that's why, um, you know, the only reason I said that is because I was showing somebody in a walkthrough too. And, you know, when I would, 
there was such a difference between when you search silicone gloves and barbecue gloves. And, and there was a difference and I was shocked that there was. And that's why I asked that question. Because, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's where, when you're doing this and, and we're just doing one example and the amount of time that we're spending thinking about this product is much less than what we'd want to tell someone to do if they're, right. if they're up and selling, right? right. Um, because there's, you know, there's a lot more that goes into it than just looking at the numbers. That's a big, big chunk of it. And it's, you know, this drastically helps save you a lot of time. Uh, but then even still, you're going to be looking at the product to see, you know, why it's popular, why it isn't popular, you know, et cetera. And so that's why, you know, I'll use this as, as a second step that basically kind of is more of a catch all, right? Cause he's a top one analyzer to be like, okay, I don't know what I want to sell. You're breaking it down to, okay, this is what I'm interested in selling. And then you bring it over to the product inspector, put it in there. And this is like, okay, let me see if there's any other products like this that I missed in my initial search on the top 100 analyzer. Cause then you can go through and click every single one of these product IDs and look at the listings to decide, you know, more in depth. And you could filter this, of course, too, based on the on the primary rank. And you can preview it too, right? In an HTML document, correct? Exactly, right. So you can do that with the other options too. And the thing that's funny is that e even though you know, I'm one of the co-creators, not in the sense that I'm touching the code, I'm more of the here are the features that I think that people want to use because I'm doing this myself as well. <laughs> a lot of times it's like there's so many different ways to get to the answer that you know, I'm just doing it the way that I've done it for so long and it works. And so I'll, I'll do that. Right. Whereas I don't, so for example, I don't do a lot of the HTML type reporting and stuff, um, but oh. I do save, you know, I do save files and then come back to them and open them again and look at the results sometimes and, and See, rerun I, them. I step. love the preview because I, I'm able to go whip down cause I like to see the pictures so I can whip down through them quicker and I know I'm not selling glass. I know I'm not, you know what I mean? I can go, and whip down and through without having to read, you know, if I'm doing a generalized search and I'm just looking for product and not specific, I pull up the preview and then I'm able to look at the actual picture. So I can kind of, without having to read all the listings, I can go down and just pick them and go, okay, and click in and go in and look and look further that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, this is what I would do as a second step is, you know, I'd look in here, I'd probably expand this a bit more so I can better, Right. Real quickly see just from that initial right. listing. And when I'm looking, I also, I take all the things that are unnecessary. Like I don't care about the commission. I don't care about the savings and the list process. I, I usually will, you know, show people and when I show them how to just shrink those down and, you know, make them exactly. not, so they don't have to look at them. Exactly. Right. You can eliminate them. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So you can right click the category and just delete that row too. By the way, guys, there's a uh, update. I've been just shrinking, you know, just, minimizing them but that's a whole lot easier yeah okay see little things that's why i'm glad you're here looking with, with me yeah okay. and then when you save when you save let's say you save the search like that yeah what file do you save it to pull it back in because i only save i only save the preview ones i save it as the project file okay all right and that way I can just reopen it back up and it's the same. Um, but yeah, you can do multiple different types. And so one of the things I've been doing is, is I've been saving it as, um, as a CSV file, because what I've been doing is adding some, I put that down and I take the product and then I've been adding some other um, figures in there, mm -hmm. you know, so it becomes all one document. So I add, you know, and, and to be able to take those out, that'll help too. So I can, but I just want to have multiple columns. I'm going to look at other things. I'm going to evaluate. And I try to come up with my own little score in each product. And that's how we end up finding one, I guess. Yeah, exactly. How, hey, let me ask you this question. What do you think? Do you go more by at the end of the day? Because, listen, we, we know there's millions of products. And I think my opinion is that people get so caught up in this. The bottom line is, is there's just a lot of products on the end for me that, you know, too little, too much but there's a lot in the middle and I think people get so caught up in this decision. What would you say would be the number one thing if you said, look, and you're, if your brother was going to go in this business, what would you tell him how to find a product? What would be the number one thing you would tell him he should do to find this product? Or I think the biggest thing would be kind of comes back to the BSR range. I mean, I think that you can run, run that multiple times to see because BSR can fluctuate over time. Uh, but I would say, you know, don't go after something super competitive. Uh, if anything, you know, 
the even like a, a product that does say five thousand a month or something, or even a couple thousand a month, that's still pretty sweet uh, for people. For someone that's coming from the standpoint of not currently making any money at all right. online. That's exactly what I teach people. I said, quit trying to be millionaires and try to figure out how you can place your car payment first. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I think it was the guy that wrote the book, Millionaire Fast Lane. I forget his name now, but he, there's like this uh, post in his forum that I stumbled upon that said something like, you know, why are you spending any time looking on the Ferrari website, thinking about the color of the Ferrari <laughs> you'll buy when, you know, when you haven't even started a business yet, right? And so right. that's kind of another line of thinking too. <laughs> I talk to people about that all the time and you would not believe how much it does happen, Chris. They, they, they're, they're looking up videos on how to freight forward stuff and they haven't even opened an Amazon account. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's a really good and even better, more relevant point is that you really should focus on just whatever the step is in front of you that gets you to the next step. And then, you know, at the end of those steps, the goal is a product up and selling and then getting more sales and more sales and more sales and then maybe another product after that. That's really, I mean, but to kind of bring it all back, I mean, that's really what I do is that's, that's kind of the approach is, you know, I'll look through a bunch of different subcategories within the, the primary category I'm interested in selling in. If I don't know yet, then maybe I'll browse it around a little bit more before I, before I do that. And then, you know, once I pick something, this is what I'm thinking about selling. I'll fire up the product inspector and I sometimes do this fairly early on just to kind of get, you know, cause this is going to pull in a bunch of different products they're all that same thing or something similar enough that it has it in the title, right? Uh, and that's when I'll do that next. Uh, and then, uh, do you want me to show you the other tools briefly at all or do you have any other, qu any other things yeah. to talk uh, about? Well, so once you get here, so what this is gonna do, basically if you do these searches right and the product inspector, you're gonna end up with a list of basically how many competitors you have with a grill mat or a grill gloves. I hope you enjoyed this Gorilla's 15 minute boot camp about Amosuite. And once again, if you'd like that $100 discount and 30 minutes of personal training on how to use Amosuite software, click the link. In the next 15 minute Amazon boot camp, Amosuite part three, Chris explains how to get reviews for your products and he will show you the keyword finder software. Visit the website at 123amazon.net to download our free course on how to find a product. I have one more important thing that won't take but just a minute of your time. Thanks for listening. The Amazon Gorillas are hosting a free webinar. Start your Amazon business in two weeks with $250. At the end of this webinar, you will have the knowledge necessary to pick a product, source it, and have it up and selling with Amazon's FBA partnering program in only a few hours of your time in two weeks while spending only $250. Register below because spaces are limited.